This presentation is to help assist with the shipping of dangerous goods in exempted quantities as it applies to sending field samples to the laboratories for analysis. You must be IATA certified to offer these shipments. This applies to samples of PG3 rated materials only. This instruction only applies to PG3 rated materials. Per the exempted quantity table in the IATA manual, you will be limited in the quantity that you send of not more than 30 mils per inner container and not more than one liter in the entire package. The following will be provided as your shipping kit. There's the shipping container, which is the styrofoam cooler and the box. There are primary containers and packaging materials. The primary containers are the plastic bottles and then you have the bags and the closures and the sorbent. You may or may not be provided unfrozen ice packs with the kit. That has not been determined at the time this presentation was made. Uh, you will also have included the exempted quantity label which you will need to affix to the outside of the box. Uh, the presumption here is that you're going to be shipping corrosives which are class 8 materials. Therefore, you will put an 8 in the exempted quantity label as shown in the photo. If your, if your address label is not a self-adhesive type, you'll need to add both the shipper and the consignee information on the same face of the box that the exempted label is on. Now, this is not a requirement if you have a self-stick label or an adhesive label. So now we go to pack the samples. So you're going to place the appropriate aliquot of sample into each primary container included in the shipping kit, ensuring that you put the lids on tightly when you are done. You should also tape the lids closed with uh, vinyl electrical tape or something similar so that they don't you know, come loose during transit. Uh, you want to place no more than four vials in each of the Ziploc bags included with the kit and then seal those bags. You'll place those sealed Ziploc bags into the bags with the sorbent material and then seal those bags with the included zip tie. Place these completed sealed bags into the styrofoam cooler with ice packs, whether you had them with the kit or whether you have to get your own. Do not use water ice. Uh, you don't want to have anything leaking out of the package. You don't want the box to be wet for any reason. Uh, put the lid on the styrofoam cooler and secure it with tape, uh, preferably sealing the surface all the way around the top as opposed to putting an X of tape across one way and then the other. Run the tape all the way around the, where the top makes to the cooler. Uh, place the cooler into the cardboard box and uh, it's always good to put something in the box with a with some address information so a business card just a generic business card is uh, a good way to do that that way if something happens they have to open the package they know where to send it uh, seal the box with tape place the exempted quantity label on the box and mark the appropriate class of the material you're shipping uh, in this case, again, it's uh, presumed that that's going to be an 8 for corrosive. Uh, apply the shipping label, and uh, again, if the label is self-adhesive and it sticks on its own, that's all you need to do. If it's printed from the internet on a piece of paper that's folded and placed into an, a pouch, then you have to also uh, supply that information on the side of the box with the exempted label on it both the shipper and the consignee information. Uh, once this is done, take it to a FedEx office or leave it for your FedEx person to pick up and you're good to go. There's none of the usual typical uh, DG paperwork uh, is not required. Uh, at this point, it's uh, like any other shipment, just give it to FedEx and they'll, they'll go with it. That's all.